Well, surely it could get any better for the Dallas Cowboys, right? Right? <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. You are wrong on every account. It got worse. It got even. It got so bad that I want to cry. Oh, I think I want to tear what little hair I have on my hair right now out. I, I, I'm. I don't know. I'm, I'm glad the Cowboys have bye week because 47 to nine just absolutely disrespectful. Dan Campbell disrespected the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones getting radio people fired. Jerry Jones is the problem. You know. I know people are going to say Dak's the problem too, and that is true. Dak is also a problem, but you know, Jerry Jones is getting radio people fired for not, you know, making the moves that need to be made. And you know, again, a lot of people are going to be like, "Well, oh, well, what about the Derrick Henry thing?" Yeah, he should have went after Derrick Henry. There's no reason he should be in Baltimore right now. He should be here. He should be here behind this offensive line, this defense. Has had no upgrades since all these injuries happened. You know, we could be getting, you know, some veteran off the street that, you know, is trying to prove something, you know. But no, no, we're not going to do all that. No. So, yeah, Dallas gets absolutely smacked around by Detroit, you know, just just the type of game you want to see, you know. Um, the Jets beat the Beat themselves. They beat themselves, but they get Devonte Adams. Isn't that isn't that great? They get Devonte Adams. That, maybe that'll boost up the wide receiver room just a little bit. Even though Garrett Wilson has pretty much emerged for the Jets as the clear number one. You know there was some missed kicks in this game that were rough. I mean, but Buffalo was able to come out on top. You know James Cook wasn't even playing. You know so you you know things are dire when you still can't win. You know, despite the, the 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 opportunities were there for the Jets. Same thing with the Giants. A late fumble. You know, Joe Burrow had ran it in for a touchdown. They were you know trying to keep. You know, the Giants. The Giants defense has played pretty good pretty much all season long, and you know they were able to keep um, T Higgins and Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. You know, pretty much contained for a good chunk of this game. And ultimately, at the end of the day, New York had the opportunity to get a fumble recovery. They could not get the fumble recovery. And, yeah, New York should not be in – neither of the New York teams should be in prime time, but we have a Sunday night game involving New York, the Jets, and Pittsburgh, who are probably going to start Russell Wilson. You know, it's quite a shame that Justin Fields' job is going to get taken away. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. The Chargers win. Um, again, Pittsburgh beat the Brakes off of Las Vegas. Again, basically the Raiders are in tank mode at this point. You know, no Adams. Crosby may Crosby may want to go somewhere else too. So uh, Carolina's Carolina. Is Nick Sirianni the answer in Philadelphia? Is he really the guy in Philadelphia? You know, he's been getting a lot of stuff for them. In Philadelphia, I know. You know, A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, I know they were injured. No Dallas Goddard has been injured, and I know. I know the injuries have been there, but, again, this defense, you know, allowed 16 points to the to the Browns, a team that has looked awful. They just sent Amari Cooper off. You know, Cam Akers is going back to the Vikings, too, so that should be intriguing. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Uh, but yeah, Houston wins. Indianapolis beats Tennessee again. Tennessee, New England, Arizona, Jacksonville—you know those types of teams. They're just—they're just bad. Like I don't blame Chicago for beating the brakes off of Jacksonville in London. I don't blame Green Bay for winning by twenty-one. I don't blame you know Will Levis getting hurt and only passed for ninety-five yards. You know. I don't blame stuff like that. You know, old man Joe Flacco was able to lead Indianapolis to a victory, and a meandering team like Indianapolis was 500. Uh, but honestly, a couple of the big ones on San Francisco, you know, they were able to get themselves together. And they got a big win against Seattle. A lot of turnovers thrown by Geno Smith and crew, but hey, Seattle gets to bounce back, you know, so there's no, there's no rhyme or reason. You know, as to why things are the way they are in Seattle. They've had some questionable games, you know, against San Francisco where they basically made the mistakes themselves to make that game go the way it did, you know, in a 12-point game. You know, Tampa Bay, you know, beat the 
they didn't really beat the brakes off in New Orleans. It looks like that, but again, um, you know, Tampa Bay basically ran away with it. You know, once Spencer Rattler and company could not keep up, you know, um, it was a wild game. It was back and forth for like the first half, and then Tampa Bay ran away with it. Um, Washington, Baltimore, very good game, very good game. Jaden Daniels and Lamar Jackson had a duel, but ultimately at the end of the day, the Ravens came out on top with a huge victory, you know. So, you know, Washington still leads in the NFC East, by the way. Baltimore is looking very, very nice, you know, in the NFC, in the AFC North. Excuse me, not the NFC North. But the NFC North will be highlighted this week in a big-time matchup. Tomorrow night we have the Broncos and the Saints. But, again, it's Bo Nix versus Spencer Rattler. Does anybody want to see that? Not me, especially a Saints team that has fallen off the cliff and lost their last four games. I don't want to see that. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Patriots, Jags, if you want to wake up, you know, at 8.30 in the morning and you want to watch that, good for you. That is definitely a tank bowl contender right there. It is a bad, bad game. You know, Drake May, you know, got his first start, didn't look the greatest. I mean, at least New England scored 21 points, get Houston, is that fine? But no, they still lost, so somebody's going to... Somebody's going to leave one London with a win, you know, in that game. But, yeah, Lions-Vikings marquee game in the early window. I, You know, it's a really, really intriguing, you know, um, Lions squad. Again, Dan Campbell has that off and running smoothly. David Montgomery just got an extension. Jameer Gibbs basically signed around the same time. Amon Ross St. Brown playing excellent. Aiden Hutchinson, he is you know, going to be out for God knows how long with the leg injury that he suffered. And it was a gruesome leg injury. My goodness, it was rough to look at. But the rest of that Lions defense is humming swimmingly. And they'll take on a Vikings team. But again, they will get Cam Akers back due to the fact that Aaron Jones is indeed hurt. But God knows how long he will be out. So they're just getting Akers as a, as a, um, and, and it's just picks, you know, from the Texans. So, uh, really, really intriguing game because the Vikings defense, you know, again, it's not no slouch. Now, the offense, you know, has turned the ball over a little bit, but hey, that defense is one of the best in the league at taking the ball away. And the Lions, you know, they've had some games where, you know, it's been kind of topsy turvy. And again, you know, good for the Lions getting the revenge against the Dallas Cowboys like the way they did this past week. But, you know, this is a big this is a big time game right here. Um, Titans Bills is another game that's happening. It's the Titans, um, Dolphins. The Dolphins season is over, bro. Seahawks Falcons is a bit of an underrated game. Kirk Cousins versus Geno Smith. Kind of buried in that early window because you have Texans. Packers in that early window, too. You know, it's going to be a really, really good one right there. C.J. Stroud and Jordan Love going up against each other. The wide receiver core of the Packers, you know, is finally looking like a wide receiver core that is gelled together. You know, again, there were some issues, you know, the past couple of weeks with Dobbs and everything like that. But everybody, you know, you know, is getting along smoothly. You know, that wide receiver room is loaded for the Packers. You know, it's not. Loaded in the sense that, oh, well, we have like two stud wide receivers. No, any one of these guys, there's like four or five wide receivers, you know, from the Packers, and any of them could get hot at any time. So, you know, yeah, don't complain about it. And of course, you know, CJ Stroud, Joe Mixon, Tank Dell, um, you know, yeah, Nico Collins is hurt, but he'll be back at some point. Yeah, and, and Stephon Diggs, you know, and that Texan defense. Should should be a good one. Should be a good one between the Pack and the Texans. Bengals Browns. Did you expect this game to look the way it did? I mean, the Bengals are only two and four. Browns are Browns have one win. Eagles Giants. Don't know why the DFW area is getting this game. Should it should it should be the NFC North matchup? But whatever, whatever. You know, divisional matchups, right? Divisional matchups. You know. What can you say about divisional matchups that can't be said already? Cool. Cool beans. Um, Rams, Raiders is a game that's happening. Panthers, Commanders is a game that's happening. 
Ooh, Jet Steelers again. Probably the only interesting thing about the Jet Steelers game is that Russell Wilson is looking to be the starter at this point, and you know, Justin Fields is getting wrongfully benched. You know, yeah, there has been well, there's been some. You know, for, what about Justin Fields fumbling the ball, or or you know, he's not you know cashing us on our gambling parlays, or 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 he's he's not doing this. He's not throwing the ball down the field. Yada yada yada. The goal is to win games, bro. The, the, the goal, the, the goal is always to win games. And what has Fields done? He's won four games, you know, so far. What can you say? That can't be said already. Mm. Super Bowl rematch. Purdy versus Mahomes. Oh boy. Basically the only game, you know, in that late window aside, again, if you really want to watch Raiders Rams or you really want to watch Panthers Commanders, more power to you. But the entire country is going to be tuned in to Chiefs 49ers, and it should be one hell of a matchup, let me tell you. Again, the Chiefs, you know, still unbeaten. You know, the Chiefs, you know, still kind of, you know, a little bit injury prone. You know, they've had some injuries and stuff like that, 49ers. Also injury prone, you know, had some injuries and stuff like that. But hey, should be one fun matchups. And the 49ers are at 500. They could actually be three and four at the end of the day, which is crazy. Crazy to think about, you know. Uh, and then Ravens Bucks, Baker Mayfield and those wide receivers, you know, Bucky Irvin, you know, was able to, you know, get some deep, really good playing time, you know, for the Bucks. And if he can do, you know, if he can do some damage, and of course, if you know Baker Mayfield can do some damage with Godwin and Evans against the Ravens defense, just like Jay Daniels did, where he threw for over 200 plus yards, you know, against this Ravens defense, then I know it's going to be interesting. Zay Flowers, you know, and the rest of this wide receiver core for the Ravens, you know, has to keep it up. They have to keep it up. You know, Lamar Jackson has been playing pretty good football this year. So is Derrick Henry, you know. So the football will be football on Monday night. It's going to be one hell of a Monday night matchup. I'm excited for it. Um, again, you know, a two and four Jets team does not move me at all. I don't care if they sign Devontae Adams, you know, via trade. It's a Jets team that is just eh. – no, I, 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 I don't care how close that game will be. I am not watching that game unless it is close, you know, towards the end like it was with the – um, Bills Jets game, you know, this past Monday night, I didn't watch that game until the third quarter, to be quite honest with you. Um, late third quarter, early fourth, and going towards the end, but um, yeah, that'll do it for me. Um, I've uploaded a couple of you know food related videos. Yes, I've been, I've been cooking, I've been back in the kitchen. The big boy chef, the chef is back in the kitchen, and you know. What can what can I say that can't be said already? I'm I'm glad to be back in the kitchen. So if you see one of these shorts, you know, of me in the kitchen, you know, making something or I'm showing off my plates, go ahead. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely hit that subscribe button because we're uploading a whole lot of stuff. I'm gonna be cooking some other stuff later, so you know, just be on the lookout for more of Big Boy Eats. So. You know, and be sure to listen to Big Boy's Corner, the Big Boy Podcast, you know, my podcast on your favorite platform, Spotify, iHeartRadio, CastBox. Just go listen to my podcast real quick. I'll, I'll link it up. We have some other stuff going on, too. So, you know, it, it, ain't just, it ain't just the same old stuff around here, baby. We are building the brand here. So make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And whoever unsubscribed, come back. Come back. We're, all, we're we're trying to get to 300. We've been stuck at 290 something subscribers for God knows how long. We need to get to 300. Liggity split. So, yeah. Take care, everybody. I hope you enjoy Thursday night if you wish to watch that game and the whole weekend of football ahead in the NFL.